Hello everyone, my name is Mama Girmulawuzi. I work at Perinatal HIV Research Unit in Soweto, uh, South Africa. And Soweto is one of the densely populated townships in, in South Africa. So I'm excited to be here and I will be sharing with you um, one of our exciting projects that we did with young people in, in Soweto. And the aim of this project was to develop a, a, a youth-friendly, internet-enabled HIV risk calculator for young people. And this is because we identified that during HIV counselling and testing, when HIV risk assessment questions are being asked uh, by a counsellor to young people, uh, responses are underreported because of social desirability bias as well as maybe the fear of being judged um, so so there, there's a need to to develop uh, a, a private tool that young people can can self-assess their own risk for HIV we had a total of three groups of young people participating in our peer group discussions and in addition we had 18 in-depth interviews with young people that identified as um, vulnerable groups and um, for example LGBT and MSM and we intentionally wanted to include these young people so that um, what our, our project can be inclusive um, and, and, and also recognize the sexual diversity amongst young people in, in South Africa. We one we wanted to to explore the HIV risk assessment questionnaire um, that we use for HIV risk assessment during HIV counselling with young people. Uh, we wanted to understand: Do young people understand these questions? What these questions are asking, and um, is the is, is the language used at the level that young people can understand? And um, are there questions that we are asking that we should not be asking? And also, are there questions that young people think that we should be asking and they are not on the HIV risk assessment questionnaire? And from this questionnaire, we identified that there were questions that young people found confusing and there were questions that one young people found that were used difficult words and also some questions were vague um, and controversial. We were able to work together with young people to rephrase these questions and adapt the, the HIV risk assessment questionnaire. And the second part uh, of, of our study was to design a, an internet-enabled HIV risk calculator that young people can use to assess their own risk and to do this we we shared a, a prototype during focus groups and in-depth interviews and we asked young people to to tell us what they they want the the the, the design uh, of the hiv risk calculator to look like and what would make them want to use this app and what will make them not want to use it uh, there, there, there were four themes that we identified um, and these were, were that young people uh, preferred a, an app uh, in, instead of a, a web page and also they wanted a, a colorful and a fun uh, tool um, to assess their HIV risk and also they wanted it to be discreet. They wanted an interactive, uh, also um, HIV risk assessment and, and information giving uh, tool. Um, we looked at what young people wanted and we, we, we communicated that to the, to the software development team that came up with, with the app. And based on that, um, we, we came up with, with, with uh, an HIV risk assessment chatbot because they wanted something interactive and then we we also based on their feedback we also made sure that the 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 logo that we use for the hiv risk assessment uh, chatbot or or, or or calculator is discreet um and and also for, for this, we, we included some, you know, personas that young people can choose from uh, uh, based on what they, who they identify with. Um, 
when they when they were doing their HIV risk assessment. When young people complete the HIV risk calculator, uh, they get they get a, a a, a generated report at the end of of the questions and for for, for this for this report uh, young people uh, get the the score for their HIV risk and then they they are given information in terms of where they can go uh, for for a free HIV testing and counseling we need to consider young people when we design interventions that we want them to use and we want to to engage them to understand their preferences um, and we need to involve them from the beginning and um, through these discussions we this collaborative effort we we were able to identify some very important aspects that should be considered in the design and development of the hiv risk calculator um, that young people reinforced the need for a self-assessment of HIV risk, uh, which is discreet, uh, confidential. And they also spoke to, you know, the, the convenience of, of, of an app versus a web page where they felt that a web page is, is, um, it took, takes a long drive for, for, for them to access and also might have a problem in terms of of, of using data. Thank you very much for your time.